I'm Graham Boland, I'm Managing Director of Surgical Innovations. We're involved in the design, development, manufacture and ultimate distribution of products for keyhole surgery, primarily in the laparoscopic field, which is surgery of the abdomen. So these are the devices that we're involved in. Uh, actual where a surgeon will gain access through the abdomen, make an incision, go through the stomach, and this enables the surgeon then to utilise a channel where he will place instrumentation itself. So that's the port. And we're also involved in the instrumentation itself. So this is a scissor that we're involved in, a very specialist device that we manufacture in-house, that the surgeon will then place through the port itself to gain access into the abdomen and where he can manipulate tissue, cut, dissect. We're an export company. 80% of our turnover is derived from export markets. I think that's very important. And that's probably because laparoscopic surgery is more developed in the export markets. Our main market is obviously the US. In the medical device field, 50% of all medical devices are sold into the US market. Uh, this is um, the machine shop and design area as well. So in here we'll go around, we have a machinery dedicated to developing uh, instrumentation, uh, port systems, and also importantly for us is a design centre here in the middle where we, we can do rapid prototyping. So rather than having to subcontract out, take time to develop tooling for ideas for surgeons, we can do it instantly on our own dedicated design machines. And, uh, that's proved very, very successful and it's quite novel having the design, dedicated designers with a machine shop within the actual overall manufacturing facility. Last year the company uh, moved premises. Originally we had uh, 10,000 square feet of uh, space, over five disparate units. That was a problem in terms of communication, manufacturing capacity and design resource. So in April 2008 we moved into this facility we're in today, 32,000 square feet in total, 24,000 square feet of manufacturing space and the rest in design administration. People will be rather surprised that uh, our decision to bring manufacturing back in-house when you think of low-cost manufacturing centres such as China and Eastern Europe. But uh, we've discovered that with having a facility here and the volumes that we're talking about in terms of our single-use devices and the quality that's needed, uh, it is actually uh, more cost-effective to bring it in-house. One of the important things about in surgical innovations that we, we try to get across is is, is training and understanding the instrumentation. These aren't just widgets, they're medical devices. And, and what, I, what I do, and I'm, I'm very passionate and proud about, is our, is our training record, and we've been commended for our training. Everybody in the company, from um, people on the shop floor, the cleaning staff, reception, right through to the designers, will be trained in basic laparoscopic surgery, and that's something I, I will carry out. The next time that device could be used or opened could be on you or a member of your family. And recently it actually happened that um, our manufacturing director two weeks ago was rushed into the Bradford Royal Infirmary uh, appendicitis and he had a, a lap and appendectomy using our equipment. So it actually happened that it was used on him. And I think that's really important that people understand what the devices are used for. Uh, they take far greater care and pride in their work if they understand the surgical procedures they're used on.